Hi Pisces, welcome to a new timeless reading for you here. Um, let's see what is in the cards for you, my dear Pisces. Timeless reading means it is available no matter when you will watch it. All right, so it is a general reading. Please keep that in your mind. Take only what resonates with your life, your situation. So let's see what messages are coming um, through this reading in regards of your life. So you have the freedom card, which is telling you simple, clear, you are free to do what you choose. So the choice is in your hands. Now, at this time, you may have to learn, you may have to read some documentation, some books, you may be like not in the mood for that. But remember that you this might be something necessary. If you don't do it later, do not blame anyone else for the results. This is what I get for some of you. Of course, this cannot be for everyone. But the main thing is that it is in your hands um, how things will go. What are you going to choose? Um, take in consideration that... Um, Everything that you are living, it is a result of your own choices. Okay? Now, you have here, give your inner critic a vacation day. Be kind to yourself. Never forget how resilient you are. You always bounce back. So do not be afraid to, to maybe engage into something here that... Uh, you may feel that you are not having the mood, you don't have enough energy and so on, but um, you've got this. It might be very important to find the time, to find the mood for something here that doesn't, uh, you know, you could, <laughs> you could escape, but might be very important for your future. Now, let's keep going and let's see Pisces. What else? Gliding through currents. With a different approach, you will glide through a situation with grace and ease. Going inward and bringing your understanding, perspective or behavior into flow will help your dreams take flight. What did I just told you? You see, even though something here is kind of, is, you, you, it's kind of forcing you, right? Let's say you need to read a book right? Or you need to learn something here new. It's overwhelming. You don't want, you don't have the mood. You don't see exactly why you should learn all these things right now. But later on, everything will make sense. So you see, go with the flow. Try to, to put a little bit of effort. Maybe you already do too much, but you need to find um, a little bit of strength for this because there is a reason why why it's coming up here in your reading. Now let's take one more oracle card for you and then we take the tarot to see how things will go. You have the Empress, a card of action, telling you straightforward time to act upon your plans. Also, if you don't have plans, now is the time to make some plans. Um, definitely you will be rewarded. The outcome it will be um, a very good one for you. You will be able to achieve great things. Um, but um, maybe you need a little bit to stop, you know, stop and, and um, relax, uh, clear your mind and then make some decisions here because everything is in your hands how it will go. All right, gliding through currents. So you've got this. You can do this. Pisces. Let's see what is your first tarot card here. The most important the energy. Wheel of Fortune. Five of Wands. There might be... There might be people around you. You may... Uh, uh, this might be at work. You are like... You feel maybe pushed by the competition, by what others are doing. Maybe they have more time. Maybe they have other situation. And you kind of find yourself into this circle, right? Where uh, you are not in the mood of doing certain things that others are doing. But you kind of, you have to do it. 
all right you have to do it because um you won't regret it okay now putting everyone else on a side you are not doing it for others you are doing it for yourself so whatever you feel like not doing right now mm, don't say uh, don't reject immediately just give yourself a little bit of um, of a break all right <laughs> to gather your strength yes exactly and then um, make some choices here time for act okay four of wands this is a milestone you will achieve here something you will celebrate you, you will get um, to a certain level all right so definitely mm, take some time to you know to rest and then um, make some choices here even though might not feel you may not have mood for it it's important for your future here because you will be able to um, uh, to to reach a goal all right, four of wands is a is a happy card, is a milestone, is a celebration. Getting things done, getting somewhere where you maybe did not, you don't even think about it right now, but you will be able to to get to that certain level in your life, Pisces. Seven of Swords here. Look at others, right? But mind your own business, like. Uh, maybe they do certain things let them do but also you make sure you do your best um seven of swords is like focus on yourself focus do some things for yourself it's not being uh, um, it's not like you are selfish or something it's the right time if you want to 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 reach this level to level up you need to make uh, a little bit of an effort here and definitely mm, do not compare yourself with others. Uh, maybe take from them this um, drive by, um, they are driven by success or something like that. You are maybe looking at others um, and you are like how, you know, you. it's kind of like you look at them and you don't take the good things, you take the bad things. Five of Wands can be also quite of a positive card when uh, when we look from this side of you, like um, inspire yourself from all these people because um, they are getting some things done there and inspire yourself from them um, because you need, all right? You may be demotivated at this time, but you will, you, you will find um, a motivation uh, very soon, okay? So let's see what we have here. Queen of Pentacles, practical steps, definitely um, focused on your home, on your money, on your self, on your loved ones, making sure that you can provide, that you have what you need. Uh, this is what I see for you. So for some of you, it will be, this will be that thing that will drive you to read those books, to take that course, to uh, stay a little bit late at night and learn, find time for this extra thing that might uh, bother you now. With the strength card, we have the moon card. Um, listen to your intuition. Um, you have what it takes to um, to 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 step into this new phase. 100% um, you have what it takes, so do not be afraid. Um, again, leveling up, having this success, reaching this milestone depends on your choice. The lover's card is a choice, a choice made by heart um, because it feels right for you. Um, you will make this choice and it will bring you there to that success, to that um Mm, victory and you also have the king of uh, cups and the judgment which um, again gives me the feeling that you have to choose with your heart to um, 
to make out of yourself a priority and definitely it's a time of change with the judgment card here something has to change a bad habit or you cannot continue with the same old thing there is something new that has to be done here um, and yeah, maybe this engaging in uh, this new thing, whatever it is, that you don't have the mood for it, um, but it will be so beneficial for you if you find that strength and energy to, to go for it. So Pisces, this is it. This is what I've got for you in this moment. I really hope it was helpful. And if you enjoyed the reading, please give a thumbs up, like it, subscribe to the channel. I can't wait to see you here next time when I come up with a new reading. So make sure that you turn on the notification bell. So important because you get notified when your uh, reading is up next time. Um, wish you all the best. Thank you. Bye.